I know that my what sold videos are not the most popular, um, but if you are a reseller and you want to learn about jewelry, this is a really great video to watch. So when I was on the Nurse Flippers channel, someone had asked what was my average sale price per item. And I think I said like 25 or 26 dollars. And everyone else was like 30, 50, whatever. And they're like, oh, don't worry, yours will, yours will go up. And I was like thinking like, I'm actually really good. Like, so because that same reseller who, on, who only wants to sell things for $50, they might spend three hours going through yard sales to find two things. Now they had pins like um, a lot longer than the actual catch right here because back in the Victorian or maybe even Edwardian era, um, clothes was a lot, the clothing was a lot thicker so the um, pins had to be longer. So if you see pins that are longer and you also see the C-clasp, know that that is the reason why and it's definitely an older um, antique piece. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works. And today we have what sold over the weekend. Um, and I have a lot of jewelry, a couple shoes and some belts and things like that. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I know that my what sold videos are not the most popular, um, but if you are a reseller and you want to learn about jewelry, this is a really great video to watch. Um, and you know, any what sold video is really good to watch because you are able to see what actually sold and for how much and what the titles look like, what pictures look like, and you can really learn a lot. So. We are going to pull some orders. Now let me just say, summer slowdown is, is really hitting hard, you guys. And I know a lot of you guys on the Facebook page and have left me comments saying that it is really affecting you as well. Um, yeah, I'm just, I can't wait till it picks up because <laughs> it just is so slow. But then there, you know, I think it's like back to school season um, is when it starts picking back up. People have kind of either spent all their tax return or they are just spending their money on things like vacations and fair, state fairs and all the summer fun things. So just know that this is normal and it will pick back up. So yeah, let's go pull some orders. Okay, so pull up a carpet square and join me on the rug for some jewelry sales. So, um, I don't think I've had any like super high sales, which is kind of a bummer, but again, you know, little sales add up. Something I do want to mention, maybe I'll turn around the camera. Hold okay, so let's just talk a little bit about small sales and just jewelry sales in general, because now I've been really getting into a lot of jewelry. So when I was on the Nurse Flippers channel, someone had asked what was my average sale price per item. And I think I said like 25 or 26 dollars. And everyone else was like 30, 50, whatever. And they're like, oh, don't worry, yours will, yours will go up. And I was like thinking like, I'm actually really good. Like I do not, I think a lot of people, a lot of resellers really focus on that, um, like their selling, pr their average selling price going up. So like they won't, won't sell anything for less than like $50 or something like that. And they like to have 300 items in their store at least and like. Um, they won't sell anything for a certain amount. For me, however, because I don't have a lot of time and, you know, I like my space is limited. Um, I do everything out of my basement. I don't necessarily look at the like price, make, like my average um, purchase p price. Like, I just don't. I look at like my time and then how much making 
how much I'm making for my time. So because that same reseller who, on, who only wants to sell things for $50, they might spend three hours going through yard sales to find two things. And their time spent doing that could be the same amount of time that I, like three hours for me, I could have listed 30 things, gone through a jewelry jar. Like, and so for me, um, having more things in my store and having them sell for smaller amounts works for me because these things like jewelry, they are really fast for me to list. Not to say that like you're doing something wrong if it takes you a while, because if, it, if you are researching that you are still investing your time in learning into your tuition and you will just get faster over time. So don't worry if you're still a little bit slow, but um, things will get faster. And just so you know, I am not even two years into selling jewelry and I have like probably 2,000 listings of just jewelry and pretty conf confident and comfortable like going into antique stores and purchasing and describing things and sharing what I've learned. So let's get into the jewelry. I just wanted to throw that in there, um, some of my thoughts. Okay, let's talk about this bundle. So yay, thank you if you are a subscriber, not sure. But sometimes if like someone on eBay is super friendly and they buy a bundle, I'm just like, is it a subscriber? <laughs> um, so this is a like beautiful like moon glow thermoset Lisner um, triple strand, I believe necklace. Look at how lovely that is. And then the same buyer purchased this uh, double strand. This feels like glass faux pearl, um, two different shades of pink. I think this one might have come out of a recent antique shop Goodwill lot. So these two, I think both came out of shop Goodwill lot. So my cost of goods was around three and I accepted an offer for $40 for both of them. Okay, here we go. This one I picked up from an antique store, I believe. It is 12 karat gold filled. A lot of the jade brooches and jade um, uh, jewelry, vintage jewelry, is either gold filled or a lot of times it can be gold. So this one sold for $20 on eBay and I paid $250 at the antique store. This um, might be interesting for you guys because I was not thinking I was going to list this, but I took a Google lens and some people had them priced like ridiculously high, like $30 or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, I, and so I took some of their keywords, like I think mod, um, I think retro mod, white lucite, some other words, you'll see it in my title. But I really liked how they described it. And what do you know, mine sold for $17.99. This I got out of the neighbor lot, I believe, where my cost of goods was about $1.50 per piece. This is a sterling silver filigree. I believe this is an antique pin with the C clasp. And the pin itself is longer. Now they had pins like um, a lot longer than the actual catch right here because back in the Victorian or maybe even Edwardian era, um, clothes was a lot, the clothing was a lot thicker. So the, um, pins had to be longer. So if you see pins that are longer and you also see the C clasp, know that that is the reason why. And it's definitely an older, um, antique piece. This sold for $25 on eBay. Sterling silver, not marked, but test says sterling, and I got this in a shop good a lot for a dollar. This is gorgeous. I paid up for it, but I couldn't, I couldn't resist. <laughs> it had a box clasp, um, a decorated box clasp, and these beautiful moon glow thermoset beads. Again, I paid $5.60 at the antique store and this sold for $22 on eBay. This I believe I got in a grab bag at the antique store because my cost of goods 
was 25 cents. These are some Avon clip-on earrings. Oh, these are bold and beautiful. And um, yeah, I think I have one, two, no, one, two, three, yeah, three pairs of clip-on earrings. So clip-on earrings and brooches still sell, you guys, and I love listing them. So this sold for $18 and I paid 25 cents. All right, these are some clip-ons. They're really pretty with this etch design. And no mark, no maker's mark or anything like that, but these sold on Mercari as a D-list, relist, um, and they sold for $8. And I got them in a shop good a lot for around a dollar. These came in that neighbor's lot the, when I bought her jewelry collection. These are some bangles, and I was really excited to find these because bangles I'm really not too fond of um, just listing and going through. Usually I'll just take a magnet, and if I have like a lot of stuff, I'll just take a magnet and then take out all the ba bangles that are magnetic. These are probably magnetic, but... They have the buckle detail and they're marked Michael Kors on the inside. There's three for stacking. So yay, these bangles sold for $39.99. Yay, <laughs> for $39.99 bangles. And I paid about $1.50. This came in my um, high bid auction lot for about $1.50 per piece, where I paid um, $1.50 for, all, for um, each of these Avon new in box, new old stock um, earrings and jewelry. So this is a piece that sold for $18 on eBay and um, I won't open it, but you'll see it on the screen. This, again, you guys are learning, right? Um, you're learning from all of my mistakes, but honestly, it's not a mistake because I'm still making money. It was a good learning experience and it doesn't take up any room and I'm still regularly making sales. So I don't mind if things sit for a bit. But this, these are by the brand Bow Jewels. You'll see it right there. Um, a lot of times Bow Jewels will also incorporate some metal fleur-de-lis in their designs, which are so lovely. I'm really drawn to that look. Um, so I went on this like um, trip with my girls and my mom to an antique store that you can literally see from the highway. They also had cheese and pickles and all the Wisconsin type things so it was like a tourist stop so all the jewelry there was really overpriced so I, I'm like I have to just at least buy one thing to resell this is the thing I paid $5.99 for these I didn't even look them up I literally was walking out the door and I was like oh these are pretty I have never heard of these I'm gonna get them I have I can make at least double my money so these sold on Poshmark for 22 and I, yeah, I paid about six. Just a Chico's pendant. I love Chico's. Chico's is future vintage if it's not already vintage for some pieces. Really high quality, well-made, boho, modern. Sold on Posh for 15 and I got that in a shop. Go to a lot for a dollar. These, you guys, um, if you were with me in my live or watched the replay, I'm so sorry that it was like sideways. I don't know what, how to fix that or why why I did that. But um, I was just going to put these in the craft lot, but someone reached out to me. And these are those snap jewelry pieces that you can snap onto, I don't know, Ginger Snaps or Lulu Jewels or something like that. And so I think some of these are for earrings because there's some pairs. There's like a shotgun shell. Um, and then there's some that might go on to bracelets or pendants, like a little bee and things like that. So, uh, I just sold these all for $2 and then, then they also paid shipping, did it all through PayPal. And my cost of goods, you guys, per piece was about, was less than 25 cents because I only paid $16 plus handling. I didn't have to pay shipping and I counted the pieces that I am going to list for sure, and I think it's like over 75 pieces, so yay for that. Okay, you guys might recognize this piece because this is one that I 
showed you guys um, cleaning. I was cleaning it on one of my haul videos. And this is an Avon Intaglio um, carved glass pendant. And I believe it is a woman with a greyhound dog, I think. And it's marked Avon there right at the top. This one sold on Etsy for $23. I paid shipping, making my earnings $18.87. And I believe I paid around a dollar in the shop. Good a lot. So there's jewelry sales. Small sales do add up. And then also a really great thing about jewelry is once you have enough jewelry, people really do start bundling. And you guys might be noticing in almost all of my what's sold over the weekend videos. I have at least a couple bundles or one or two bundles in every video. So yay, still making sales, even though it is like a snail's pace, you guys. <laughs> ah! All right, here are the shoes that are going out. My husband came into my work area and he was like, the shoes are get like the your inventory inventory for shoes are is getting smaller. Have you been listing shoes? And I was like, no, I haven't. Uh, so, yeah, so shoes are still selling. These are two brands of shoes that honestly I would continue to pick up because the the quality is just really nice and the styles are really nice. This is a brand called A B E O A B O Biosystem. This Biosystem type shoe, they will say. Um, next to the size, whether it's an N or an M or something else. Now, this doesn't mean it's seven narrow. A lot of people might think that this the N stands for narrow, but with the ABO bio system, it actually is talking about the shape of the footbed. And so this is a neutral footbed. So if you are listing the ABO bio system, make sure you double check to see what those letters mean. This um, sold for, these these shoes sold for $28 on Poshmark, yes. And I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for around two. These are lovely, these are like a mustard yellow cork wedge by the brand Soft with two Fs. I think that this brand is um, comparable to Clark's and Born. Nice leather comfortable leather on the in. So these shoes sold for $26 on Poshmark and I picked them up at the Goodwill bins for around two. Um, so yeah, I think I will definitely pick up these kinds of shoes at the bins when I, whenever I get a chance to go. Um, and you guys know that <laughs> when I have a chance to leave the house now with my little, little bit of time, I either go to the antique store or to thrift stores with jewelry. That's just, that's just where we're, we're at in life. So yeah. All right. We're going to go over to the belt and scarf. Okay. So I did take a little bit of time doing some belts and things like that. And you might recognize these suspenders. I picked up this Talbot's belt from Goodwill. I believe it was half off. So it was about $1.50. And this is an Italian skinny leather Talbot's belt sold for $25. Make sure if you sell belts, look to, to see if the they are made with Italian leather or English saddle leather or some kind of high quality leather. And definitely put that in your title because that catches attention. Um, no matter what the brand. So this was a really good sale, really good flip. These I just listed and they sold right away. These are these Mickey Mouse Paisley suspenders. These are going to Germany. That is so fun, right? Um, so these sold for $27 and I picked them up for $6.99 at Salvation Army. Okay, so I'm not selling a lot of scarves, I pick them up every once in a while, but I have done this thing in the past where I would get the thread up boxes for like $16, right? Has anybody done that? <laughs> I do not recommend it. I feel like it's better. It's a better deal if you are planning on crafting or need fabric for something. Um, because a lot of the scarves are not good quality. They are not named. They're not really 
cute or anything like that. So from the scarves that I did end up listing, my cost of goods per scarf was around $3.50. Ouch. I would not pay for that much for this scarf at a thrift store. But this is a Rachel Zoe scarf. So it did have a name brand. Sold for $15. There we go. Learn from me. Okay, so there was there are all my sales. <laughs> I'm going to go package these all up. And one thing I do want to say that is good about not having a lot of sales during the summer is that you can really bump up your store now. So like I feel like my store has grown by like 200 items <laughs> um in like the last month, honestly, because I have a lot of time to list and not a lot of things are selling. So like my goal for my personal goal is to list at least 10 things a day and then get to the point where I'm, I'm selling at least 10, 10 items a day. I feel like that's a really good and attainable number doing this part time. I am sometimes there some week weekend days. I am selling 10 items or more. Um, but a lot of times during the, the weekday, I might not be. Um, and then this weekend has been like, so that is my goal. So let me know what are your goals? How are your sales doing? How is summer treating you? Leave me um, a comment down below because I feel like we all say this, but you guys leaving comments really helps push like the algorithm into people seeing the channel. And um, I have noticed that more people are coming from other channels. So yay and welcome. Um, and make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. Bye guys. Bye.